your booty to look good, go get some Lululemon pants, okay? It does not matter what kind. Just get a pair. Hey guys, it's Bria and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new to my channel. So today we are doing another big shopping haul. I haven't done a shopping haul in a while, I don't think. But yeah, if you saw my last vlog, I did some fall slash back to school clothes shopping and I got a bunch of things. Lots of fall clothes, you know, fall basics, some matching sets. And I'm just so excited about these clothes, y'all. Like, oh my god. And I also stocked up on a few different items from Sephora. So I'll show you guys that last, but we're gonna do the clothes first. So yeah, basically yesterday, me and my mom went to this mall on Long Island. We literally drove two hours to go to the mall. Yes, two hours to go shopping because that's how serious we are about shopping, y'all. I listen. If the mall does not have a Ritzia and Lululemon, I'm not going. So those are literally the two stores that I wanted to get everything from. Right now, I'm like seriously on like a Lululemon slash Aritzia obsession kick. I don't know what it is, but as you can see, I'm wearing a set from Aritzia right now. And I just have on this little cute bolero from Target. But yeah, I've just really been into like cute matching sets and like activewear sets and everything. So I got a ton of stuff from Aritzia, a very few things from Lululemon, but y'all know Lululemon is very expensive. So yes, I'm very excited to show you guys what I got. So let's just hop right into this haul. Um, So I didn't really get much from Lululemon but like I said y'all know one item from there is over $100 so girl <laughs> we only got a few things from Lululemon but I'm just like so excited because it's exactly what I was looking for like I said I was really looking for like matching sets because like what I don't want to dress up I want to wear just like a cute activewear set when I want to be comfy on campus and everything so I literally found exactly what I was looking for from there so first things first, y'all know I love my scuba hoodies. I only have one of them, but I really want another one. They didn't have what I was looking for, so I wasn't able to get the scuba hoodie, but I did find these really cute scuba sweatpants. These are called the Scuba Mid-Rise Wide Leg Pants. Y'all, these pants are so freaking cute. I don't know what it is. I think because my legs are so long that wide leg pants just look even better on me. Like even when I went to Ritzia and the girl was styling me, she picked out a ton of wide leg pants. And even my mom said, she's like, you know, I think you look good in wider leg pants. And I'm like, I guess so. I guess it's wide leg pants for me because these look so freaking good, like. So yeah, this is like a light gray color. They're a little high-waisted, but not like super high-waisted, but they are so soft, so thick, perfect for the fall and winter. And I feel like you can really wear these with anything. I could wear this with a sweatshirt. I could wear it with this like cropped um, active tank top. Honestly, whatever, but these are so freaking comfortable, it's not even funny. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the sizes at Lululemon are so freaking weird because like some stuff I get in a two and then some stuff I get in a four. And then like these sweatpants are a size six, y'all. Usually I'm like a small or a medium and in pants, I'm usually like a size six. But in Lululemon, for some reason, I get the leggings in like a size two or four, but these pants fit me perfectly. So these are a size six and oh, y'all, they just fit so freaking good i can't even like i'm can't wait to wear these like honestly i'm it's so hot like i don't know if you can see me i'm a little greasy it's very hot but like i'm ready for fall like can we get rid of this 90 degree weather why is it 90 degrees like if i want it to be hot i'll go to the beach but like i want it to be cold so i can wear all my fall clothes like i'm so tired of the summer honestly i'm tired i don't want it to be winter but i want it to be fall okay but yes so obsessed with these pants these pants were 128 dollars Ooh, a little steep for some sweatpants, but we're investing in higher quality clothes so that I can have a capsule wardrobe and have items that will last a lifetime. So girl, you're gonna see me 85 years old still wearing these damn sweats, okay? Next, we have our first little matching set. So I'll start with the top. So I actually already have one of these tank tops, so I knew that I was gonna love this. I have it in a brown color, but this is like a nice dark tealish blue color. I can't really describe it, but I know like Lululemon has codes. Also, by the way, I'll have everything linked down below if I can find it. Everything that I'm showing you, I'm gonna tell you the price, the name and everything, but I will have it linked down below for you guys so you can easily access everything if you wanna shop. But anyways, yes, this is just like a nice tight racerback tank top. I don't really know how to describe it, um, but it's called the Lululemon Align Waist Length Racerback. Yeah, I guess I was right. Um, this is so soft, so soft, so thick. You do not have to wear a bra with these tank tops, which I love because I hate wearing bras. Like, you do not have to wear a bra with these and they're so stretchy, so comfortable. And I feel like they also like compress a little bit. Like if you got a little bloating action going on, they kind of suck your stomach in. So these tank tops are perfect for that. This tank top I got in a size four and this was $58. And for the matching pants, I actually got the Lululemon Align 
HR wide leg pants and these are 31 inches y'all when I tell you me and my mom were struggling like I was in the dressing room trying on different pants different leggings and the first leggings I tried on were like 32 inches literally past my toes like super long and then I tried on 28 inch leggings and they fit perfectly but these are 31 inch and they go right just above my ankle like not above my ankle but like at they're the perfect spot these are the perfect length but again we have a pair of wide leg pants in that same green teal color i feel like this color is so perfect for fall like i'm just like obsessed with this color and y'all know i stay wearing pink i stay wearing brown so we're trying to switch it up a little bit so i'm obsessed with this color again a wide leg pant they fit so good make my butt look amazing by the way if you want your booty to look good go get some lululemon pants okay it does not matter what kind just get a pair because <laughs> your butt will look amazing but these are so soft so buttery and i just feel like the wide leg again looks so good on me but yeah i was like why not switch it up and get some wide leg pants instead of another pair of leggings just so i could have like a variety of outfits and again i can really mix and match these pieces so if i wanted to wear this with a black tank top or a white tank top i could like you do not have to wear like every matching set together like you can mix and match each piece so yeah i was happy that i found these so these are size two yeah size two and they fit perfectly and these were 128 dollars all right, here's the next matching set that I got from Lululemon. So this one's a little different. So I got this bra instead of a tank top. My mom actually found this for me, y'all, because I was struggling to find like um, a top to match this color in the leggings that I got. So this is the Lululemon Energy Long Line Bra. And this is actually a size eight. So it is a little loose in a way, but not like super loose, but I just have extra room. But it's just like too cute for me to not get. So yeah, it's just like this cropped long line bra basically and then it has like these really cute um straps in the back that go across um it's a sports bra i don't really know how else to describe it um it's very soft very comfortable again i love the color this is like a grayish blue i'm bad at describing colors but again it's something different than what i usually wear and it's the same buttery soft material it's very thick very very stretchy and even though it's a bra i feel like when i put it on with the leggings because they are very high-waisted i feel like you don't really see a lot of stomach in between like just like with this like this is a crop shirt but the leggings are so high-waisted you don't see a lot of stomach showing so i could definitely wear this to class and just throw on this i feel like that would actually be a really cute outfit like this and the matching leggings i got with this little bolero but yeah like i said the sizes at lululemon are very weird because this is a size eight but it still fits me. Like I said, there's like a little extra room, but the straps and the like the band across fit perfectly. So I don't know, if you shop at Lululemon, you know, but if you don't and you go in there, just try on whatever you're looking for. Like whatever you wanna buy, even if you think you know your size, make sure you try it on, cause you never know what could fit and what's not gonna fit. So yeah, I really like this, it's very cute. And even though I would wear it out as like, you know, going to class as a comfy fit, you could still definitely work out with this. I'm pretty sure that's what they're meant for but I don't work out too much because I'm a little lazy. And then this is the last item I got from Lululemon. This is the matching leggings to go with that bra. This color is just like, it's everything. So it's like a regular legging, but it flares at the bottom. Super cute, not too crazy of a flare because I do have these flare pants from Aerie and they're just like way too wide at the bottom. Like they look crazy, but these are very cute. Just a little mini flare at the bottom. These I got in a size four. And like I said, when I tried on the 32 inch, they were so extremely long. Like literally I could wear them as socks too. Like I had pants and socks all in one, but these are the, um, but the length on these ones is 28. So I'm like, okay, how does a 31 and a 28 fit? Girl, I don't know the size. I didn't even know they had lengths. I just thought they had the different sizes. So clearly I'm uncultured when it comes to Lululemon clothes, but we're learning. We're learning slowly but surely. So yeah, again, I got these in a size four and these were $118. But I will say I do love me some Lululemon even though it is very expensive. Like I said, I like to invest in quality pieces that will last for a long time. So keeping with the theme of clothes, let's move on to Aritzia. Guys, when I tell you I have not found this many cute things at Aritzia before, and the reason why is because I did not pick any of these clothes out. I think literally one item I picked out and brought it to the dressing room, but everything else, one of the sales associates picked everything else out for me. 
So let's get into it. But yeah, when I got in there, the sales associate literally was like, okay, let me get somebody that can help you. Cause I told her, I'm like, okay, I'm looking for fall basics and like matching sets, you know, comfy clothes I can wear to campus and whatnot. And she's like, okay, let me get somebody to help you. So she got somebody, I told her whatever. She's like, okay, so what's your style? What do you like? And then she said, okay, let me see what I can do. Sis was running around the store. No joke, I literally was just walking around with my mom looking at stuff for fun because she was running around picking up so much stuff and I saw her walking by with like mad clothes and I'm like, I was like, what the hell is that? Like, why did she pick that stuff out? That looks ugly. I was mistaken. I was mistaken, y'all. When I got in that dressing room, I'm like, all right, let's try these clothes on. First of all, all I told her was that I'm a small medium. All the clothes fit perfectly. Everything she picked out for me fit perfectly and everything was so cute. Like I would not have picked up half of the stuff that she picked out. So let me show you guys. All right, so we'll actually start with these pants, which I tried in another pair of pants before she brought me these, but I was like, girl, what is that? These are a pair of black cargo pants. Like I said, I did not pick any of these clothes out, so I don't know what the hell they're called. I'm gonna just look and we're gonna guess. But yes, these are a pair of black cargo pants but they're not like regular cargo pants girl i don't know and let me see what are, what are they called these are called the picture r that's all it says and then the wilford brand i don't know what none of this is but i will have it linked down below like i said but again just a very nice pair of black cargo pants i like how the buttons are like this metal thing that kind of slides in instead of like a regular button but guys these pants fit so well i was not expecting that these are a size six and they fit everything fits perfectly usually pants will fit like my thighs and my butt and then the waist is like a huge gap none of these pants did that none of the pants i got from aritzia do that and these look a little low-waisted but they're not and again the wide leg just fits so well like i feel like these can be like a casual pant you can wear it with sneakers or you could really even dress this up and wear like a nice shirt and maybe even some heels girl i don't know but these pants are very universal very versatile um i don't know if you can see but there's like a lot of pockets on here and i like that the pockets in the back kind of like flip oh are these regular oh yeah they're regular they're real pockets thank god i thought they were fake pockets these are real pockets on here but yeah these pants are very nice very high quality very heavy so these are going to be perfect for the fall and winter and i just like i can't wait to style these guys i would never have picked these up like i would have never thought like oh that's cute that's my style like obviously they're nice pants but i wouldn't have like thought that they would be my style but they just fit so well so well um, but yeah, again, I got these in a size six and these were $128. So next up we have another pair of cargo pants, which I tried these on first before she brought me those other ones. These ones are definitely a different material. I don't really know the material because I don't know, but the other ones were more velvety and these ones are more like a jean fabric. These ones feel like jeans to me. The other ones feel like dress pants. That's the only way I can describe it. Pretty much the same thing, again, cargo pants, but these ones have different pockets. They have like these large pockets you stick your hands to in the front, and then it has like a regular pant pocket in the back. Um, and then it also has like these straps on the side because I mean, they are cargo pants. And these are also a wide leg pant. I told y'all, she picked out everything wide leg, but it looks so good. Like, I think I tried this on with this black tank top I got and it looked so freaking good. But I feel like this would also look good with a nice white sweater. Again, very versatile pants. You can really dress these up or down. So these pants are the TNA brand and all it says on the tag is Motel Fatigue. I think that's like the color. I don't know, but these are like a really nice army green color. Perfect for the fall. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to wear these. And yeah, I would have never thought that I would like these. Like I would have never picked this up would have never tried them on but sis really knew what she was doing she she really knew what she was doing because these are so cute they fit so well and again i got these in a size six and these pants were also 128 dollars next up we have this really nice oversized white sweater i think it's also a size medium so that's why it's a little bit more oversized um but yes yeah, just a very nice wool sweater it's a little thinner than most sweaters but i like that because i've been getting so hot even when it's the fall and winter um and i love the color on this it's like this nice cream color not like stark white but like a nice cream white i feel like you can really wear this with a lot of stuff she also picked out another sweater that i really liked and it was like a striped sweater but i just felt like i could really get more wear out of this one and i like how it has like the little 
open neck with the collar. So again, you can really dress it up or down. I could wear this with a freaking pair of leggings and be comfortable, or I could wear it with those nice cargo pants and like some sneakers or heels, wherever I'm going. But I feel like this is just a really good staple in my wardrobe. I'm really trying to create like a capsule wardrobe, which is why I got a lot of like very basic pieces so you can mix and match different things and so i can have just like multiple outfits from only a few pieces of clothes like if i have a good five pair of pants and a good five tops i can get so many outfits out of those just by changing up things and wearing different shirts with different pants so this is the wilford brand and i got this in a size medium and this sweater was 128 dollars clearly they like that number over at aritzia because ooh, usually i would not spend that much on a sweater but like i said this is very very high quality very soft and i feel like i could age with my clothes like especially this like maybe not the cargo pants but like especially the sweater like you could wear this anybody could wear this sweater oh and i forgot to mention that this is called the clara sweater and it is in the color light birch all right so next we have some basic tops so first i got this babatone contour muscle tank in black i never really expected myself to wear a tank top like this but again it fits like a glove like i don't know what it is about aretia's clothes everything just looks so freaking good but i just feel like this is perfect for wearing like a cardigan or something over it or some kind of jacket um rather than wearing a long sleeve shirt like especially for me because like i said i be sweating even in the fall and winter i love how this is a tank top but when i put a sweater or a cardigan or some kind of jacket on it'll look like i have a short sleeve shirt on so you kind of get that short sleeve shirt look without wearing a short sleeve shirt if you know what i mean but if you're like a sweaty beast like me, this is like the perfect shirt to have for the fall so that you can throw your little sweaters on and whatnot and not have to worry about your armpits sweating like crazy. So I got this in a size small and this tank top was $38, which I feel like for the type of material, this thing is thick. Again, you do not have to wear a bra with this, which I love. I hate wearing bras. So I always try to find some kind of top that I can wear without a bra, but because the fabric is so thick and kind of compressing in a way, but not like super tight, you do not have to wear a bra with this and it looks so cute. Another basic top that I got was this short sleeve contour bodysuit. I think that's what it's called. Yes, the contour short sleeve bodysuit. This is again black because I just feel like black goes with everything. And this especially looks good with those green cargo pants, like literally so perfect. Y'all, I was so embarrassed in the dressing room. This girl handed this to me and I didn't realize, like I put it on like this. So it was off the shoulder and I walk out the dressing room and they're like, oh my God, that looks so cute. They're like, oh, I've never seen anybody wear it like that. I'm like, girl, what you mean? And then I pull it up and it's supposed to be short sleeve. Girl, I looked dumb as hell. I was like, y'all didn't tell me nothing. But yes, this is a short sleeve, but you can wear it off the shoulder if you're feeling brave because it does look cute off the shoulder. But it's just this really nice thong bodysuit. And I like that it has the buttons on the bottom because I do have another bodysuit from Aritzia that does not have the buttons and it's very annoying to wear. So I'm glad that this one has the buttons and it's the same like nice thick um, compressing material. So again, you did not have to wear a bra with this. So it just looks super sleek, super cute and you can really wear this with anything. So yeah, this is another good piece to kind of mix and match. You can wear it with a skirt, with jeans, with cargo pants, anything, even sweatpants. But Girl, I don't know if I can wear those sweatpants, but I have seen people wear like regular tops like this with sweatpants. It all depends on how you style it. But again, another good thing to really just be able to mix and match. And it's just a very basic item that I can wear with anything and wear anywhere. And this is also a size small and this bodysuit was $58. Okay, the camera was overheating so I had to take a break. But we are back and this is the skirt that I was telling you guys about that I tried on that bodysuit with. Again, not something I would usually wear. It's like one of those maxi skirts, but it only goes to about like the shin area. It doesn't go all the way down to my ankles but this skirt is just so freaking cute and i love how it has like that big slit in the front so these are the brand denim thorn from Maritzia, but they are called the 90s halley high rise midi jean skirt um and i got these in a size 27w but this skirt fits so well i don't know why like usually with skirts i can never wear them because there's always a gap in the back or especially like mini skirts my booty cheeks be out so i feel like this is just like the perfect skirt for me it's not too long she did have me try on this one maxi skirt but i preferred the midi over the maxi so i ended up getting this one but it looks so freaking good i tried it on with this blue striped sweater but i feel like the fit together depending on what kind of sweater it does look very mature which i'm not mad about but my mom was like, it makes you look way older than you are. So I'm like, 
let me just listen to my mama because she's always right so yes it does look good with a sweater but i just have to be careful with how i style this skirt because girl we're not trying to age ourselves prematurely okay mentally i'm already 30. i'm not trying to look 32. so this skirt is in the color five years kiss and tell blue what kind of damn name is that for the color it's denim okay i don't know why they would call it that but yeah that's the color and this skirt was 110 dollars moving on to another denim piece this is from the same brand denim forum and these are the farrah high rise y jean we just got all the white pants apparently um but this is the same size 27w fits perfectly these jeans girl this is one of the first items i tried on and i immediately knew i'm like yeah she did her thing she did her thing with picking out these clothes as soon as i tried these pants on they fit me like a glove. These jeans were made for me. The length, the fit, the waist, I'm convinced these pants were made for me. Like, uh, they fit so good. I have maybe one or two good pairs of jeans that I really like, and the other ones I'm just like kind of okay with, but these are literally my new favorite. Um, they're like a nice light wash color, very thick fabric, very good quality. And again, the length is just perfect because my body's kind of like an upward ratio. I have like no torso and then like these long ass legs. So these pants are just like perfect for me because they go up nice on the waist, but they're not too long on the ankle. And they are just like everything I could want in a pair of jeans and more. I think I'm really moving more towards wide leg pants than like regular jeans. I was a skinny jeans girl growing up, like middle school, high school, I only wore skinny jeans. And then I discovered mom jeans. Have not wore a pair of skinny jeans since then. Have not wore a pair of skinny jeans since then. Since like junior in high school, I have not worn skinny jeans. What are skinny jeans? I don't know what they are anymore. They're gone. I do not own a pair of skinny jeans. Those things have been gone. Mom jeans and now the wide leg jeans are my thing. Like they just look so freaking good. I don't know why I only wore skinny jeans before. Honestly, I feel like when it comes to clothes, you really need to know how to dress your body because there's nothing wrong with wearing skinny jeans, but the way my body is built, it just looks so basic like it just looks ugh. but when i wear wide leg jeans i just look so elegant and like so put together i feel like it's really important to know how to dress your body type and how to like and to know what kind of clothes look good on you and what kind of clothes do not obviously everybody can wear any type of clothes they want but there's just certain clothes that look better on different body types. Listen, it may be a controversial opinion, but I just feel like you should know what style clothes look good on your body. And there are certain style clothes that do not look good on me at all. But these do. These do though. So this is in the color Seven Years Blue Taboo. Not sure what they were thinking when they named these colors, but it's still cute. And these jeans for the same price as the skirt at $110. And last but certainly not least for the Aritzia clothes, I got this super cute uh, matching sweat set. And I'm so glad I got this one. I was gonna get the gray one, but I'm like, again, I'm trying to switch it up with the colors. Like I love the basic colors, but I wanna just like spice it up a little bit um, for the fall. So I got this really nice set. This is the TNA Sweat Fleece Cozy Fleece Perfect Fit. The names there be ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I know they have like oversized ones and then they have like other types, but this is the perfect fit style. Um, it's kind of cropped like the sweatshirt. It's like a nice um, full zip sweatshirt, which I really like. I love like a pull on hoodie, but again, sometimes I get sweaty. So if I wear like a nice tank top or like a regular white short sleeve shirt under this, I feel like I'll be safe because then I can take this off if I get hot in class or something. But this is just so soft, so thick. Um, like I recently got a matching sweat suit set at Target and it is very cute, but this just like feels so much better. Like it's so much thicker and a lot better quality. Like I feel like I'll actually stay warm in this. Um, so this sweater is in a size small, but it fits perfectly. Like it's a little oversized, but not super oversized. And this is in the color Scarab and this was $78. I do see on the tag that they have like the different descriptions so like there's weight and fit so this is the cozy weight which is midweight and then they have terry which is midweight and then they have bubble which is heavyweight and then for the fit there's snug which is slim this is the perfect which is the classic fit i guess and then they have the boyfriend which is the relaxed fit and then the mega which is the oversized fit and then we have the matching sweatpants to go with the sweater oh so these are oversized Okay, so that was the perfect fit, and this one is the mega oversized fit, but they're not like super big. 
Um, I think because they're wide leg, which is why she picked these out for me. These are just like the wide leg jeans, the wide leg cargo pants, except they're sweatpants. I actually like sweatpants like this, that is like straight at the bottom instead of like scrunched. I do not like the sweatpants that are like scrunched at the bottom. I feel like they just look silly. So the way that these sweatpants fit, I feel like they would look perfectly with like the platform Uggs. I still need to get those. Those I could not find when I was at the mall. But I feel like with some kind of platform boots or like my Ugg Tasmans, these would be so perfect for those because they just kind of come over the shoe a little bit. These sweatpants are just like perfect. So these are again in a size small and these sweatpants were $75, which I feel like isn't really bad. Like compared to like other sweatpants, like I know people be saying like Aritzia is so expensive, but like I'm pretty sure Nike sweatpants are like $80. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Nike like sweat sets are expensive as well, like just as expensive or maybe even more. So for like the color variety and the size variety that Aritzia has, I feel like it's worth the price because they really have something for everybody. Like if you like tight clothes, they got that for you. If you're like your clothes oversized, they have that. Aritzia just really has a very good variety of colors and clothes like they really do especially if you go on their website and you're looking for like a certain item they literally have things in like 20 different colors which comparing it to other stores i've never seen that before like even if you go to like target and find an item that you like they have it maybe in like two to three colors even h m they'll have it in like three to five colors but if you want these sweatpants girl aritzia got them in about 30 colors and i'm not exaggerating they be having like all different shades of pink all different shades of green they have a color for everybody. Like Aritzia really just has something for everybody. And last, but certainly not least, we have Sephora, which um, Sephora was the craziest store that I went into yesterday. It was very stressful and I had to go back and forth a lot. And of course the line was extremely long, but I got all the things I was looking for, except for maybe one, which is the Summer Fridays lip balm, but nobody has that. So I'm not even worried about it. But I got quite a few different things. So let's get into it. Some of these items are like things I restocked that I ran out of and then others are some new products that I've been wanting to try that I cannot find at this Sephora at Kohl's, which is all I have around here. Like I don't have a regular Sephora. So whenever I go to a regular Sephora, I'm like, okay, let me look for the things that I've been wanting to try. Um, because yes, I can order it online. I've been had all this stuff sitting in my car online, but I just do not like to order stuff online. I want to go to the store. I want to walk around. I want to browse. I want to pick stuff up. I want to swatch the shades. Like I just love shopping in person. So that's why I waited to like collect all the stuff at once. So majority of the items that I picked up were skincare, but I did pick up a few makeup and then fragrance items. But the first two skincare items are just restock. So I picked up my favorite Tatcha rice wash because I love using this at night. It's like a little exfoliating. This is just a really good face wash. And then I also picked up my other favorite face wash, which is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. Very long name, but a very good face wash. So this is usually like my everyday morning face wash. And then again, the Tatcha is like my night face wash. So the Tatcha one is $40 and the Youth to the People one is $39. So there's really not a big price difference at all. But this one comes with 120 milliliters and this one's 237 milliliters. So if you're gonna pick one of these face washes, get this one because it's universal. It comes with a lot more and it's a dollar less um, than this one. So I definitely highly recommend this one. This one too, if you have the extra coins, but definitely this one if you're just looking for a good face wash. The other two restock items that I got are the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen and the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. First of all, this brow gel has been my favorite brow gel since literally middle school. Maybe maybe like freshman year, sophomore year, high school, maybe not middle school. But I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel for years. And they have changed the formula and the packaging, but I feel like it's even better now. So before it was like this thin silver packaging and now it's like this very heavy rose gold tube. So they definitely upgraded on the packaging and the formula, but I feel like it works just as good as it used to before. Um, definitely a staple for my makeup collection. Like I use this brow gel every single day. Even with my new NYX brow glue, I still use this on top of it to kind of hold it more into place. Literally like number one brow gel I've ever used. Nothing compares to this, nothing. And this brow gel, it was $22. It used to be like $17, $18, but prices changed over time. So I feel like it did not change that much. And the Unseen Sunscreen from Super Goop. Oh my goodness. This is my favorite sunscreen to use because I feel like every other sunscreen has like a weird white cast and I do like the black girl sunscreen, but for some reason the super goop, I just like favor it over any other sunscreen. It does kind of feel like putty when you put it on your face. Like it feels like 
very silicone based, which I it might be. And it also acts as a makeup primer. That's also why I love this. One, because it's oil free, so it's good for oily skin. And two, because it does act as a makeup primer. I don't wear foundation every day, but I do tend to wear blush and concealer sometimes. So I feel like I don't even need to use primer. Like I literally put this on and then put my makeup on over it and it keeps it on all day long. So if you're looking for a sunscreen moisturizer primer all in one, get you the super group. This is literally my favorite sunscreen of all time. I've been looking for a new sunscreen and I tried one and I did not like it. So I will no longer be cheating on my super group. I will stick to my super group unseen sunscreen because so far it's the best sunscreen I've tried for my face. This is like the regular size. I usually get the larger one, but they didn't have it in stock. But this sunscreen is $38, a little pricey. I think Trader Joe's has like a dupe for it, but Girl, I'm gonna just stick to the regular one because I am just scared to try new stuff now. I just like wanna stick to my usual products that I know work and I'm not even gonna try nothing new. Moving on to the new items that I bought. The first one are these Refi Lip Sculpts. I'm obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner, but I just heard that these work so much better and they last so much longer. I actually wanna open it and like see what it looks like because I'm just like so curious. I did not see it in the store. I just saw it like on TikTok and YouTube. So I did end up picking up two of these because I just feel like I would really like them. Um, so one of them is in the shade Fawn and then the other one is in the shade Rosewood. One is like a dark pinky color and then the other one's like a dark brown. Um, and supposedly I think this side is the actual lip liner. Very nice packaging. So one side is the actual lip liner. What shade is this Fawn? Um, so I think you put the lip liner on first and then on the bottom, if I could figure it out, oh, yes, and then you unscrew it on the bottom and I think this kind of sets in lip liner. Oh, I do not like this little spatula thing. But yeah, the top one is rosewood and the bottom one is the fawn. It's like brown, but not as dark as I was expecting it to be. Yeah, I'll definitely test these out and let you guys know how they work and if they actually last a long time. But these lip liners were $26 each, which is a lot. It does have like the setter to go with it. So I guess if it didn't have that, it would be a little less. So let's just cross our fingers and hope that the setter actually leaves the lip liner on all day because I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury one, I do really like how it looks. But once I put my lip gloss on and I'm talking, it comes right off. Like it does not stay on all day. And that one's like actually dark, dark brown. And it still doesn't stay on my lips all day. So this next item I only bought because I did not want to buy the full size perfume just yet. So um, if you guys know the Kayali fragrance brand, they always come out with some really nice scents. Recently she came out with this Yum Pistachio Gelato scent and I've been wanting to smell it so badly. I smelled it in the store and it smelled amazing, but I didn't spray it on my skin. So I just got this mini one. They had like this little set with the mini perfume and also this lipstick. I think Huda Beauty, yeah, Huda Beauty is also her brand. Um, so it came with the lipstick and the perfume because I didn't want to try the full size and then like when it dries down It doesn't smell good. So I'm like, okay Let me get the mini one see how I like it see how it lasts and if I really like it then I'll buy the big one I really didn't need the lipstick, but I feel like for $38 It's a good price because it comes with the mini and I feel like the lipstick is just like extra um, but I feel like Separately they would have been more so for a full-size lipstick and like the full-size um, little travel spray. It's really not bad. Um, so I hope I like this lipstick color and maybe it'll look good with the lip liners. Ooh, this looks like a lipstick I used to wear like in high school. I used to be obsessed with the Anastasia um, matte lipsticks. So that that's, um, so that's kind of what this is. I have not worn a liquid matte lipstick in so long, but it's like this purpley pink color that you see at the top. It's cute, but I would have to wear a lip gloss over it because I'm not into the matte look anymore. But like I said, we got this for the perfume, so let's smell the perfume again. I didn't put perfume on yet today because I wanted to wear this. Let's wait for it to dry down a little. Before it dries down, it um it smells sweet. Like I smell I smell like nut like a nutty scent. So that's probably the pistachio. And then I smell the sweet, ooh, I really get the sweet now. Once it dries down a little, it smells like ice cream. Ooh, that smells, ooh. That smells very good. So let's see how long this lasts. I'm gonna spray it all over. 
It smells like so sweet, like ice cream. I know people don't really like sweet scents sometimes, but I love sweet scents and I love flowery scents. So this is like right up my alley. Girl, once this runs out, I might have to get the big bottle because this smells so freaking good. Well, now that I smell amazing, let's move on to our last item. So I found a mini version of the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc body oil. I didn't even know they sold this in a mini size and I feel like I'm gonna like this size anyways. Um, I wanted the big one but it's very expensive and I didn't see it there anyways. But when I was on the checkout line I was like hold up is that a mini version of the body oil that I wanted? Listen I love me some Tom Ford. My favorite Tom Ford fragrance is the Lost Cherry. It literally amazing it's like my signature scent but i've been wanting this body glow oil for like when i go on vacation and for the summer and even just like to wear like if i go out at night which i don't but i'm trying to justify my purchase okay but i feel like for this size it was a pretty good price first of all look at how gorgeous the bottle is i'm all about aesthetics and i love gold like look at my nails with the bottle like it just looks so pretty i'm in love with this so yeah, this is the Tom Ford Sole Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. How do you put it on? I hope it has a spray. No? Oh, okay, you just pull it off and it sprays on, thank God. I hate body oils where you have to like spread it and like it's like very liquidy. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the inside of my arm. Oh, okay, yeah, so it sprays on. Very moisturizing. Oh, oh, it smells like it smells like this perfume that I got from Target, y'all. I'm not even kidding. I see a little shimmer, but like nothing too crazy. It smells very vacation-y, very island vibes. But you know what it smells like? I know an exact dupe for this, y'all. I know an exact dupe for this. And if the perfume smells just like this, I know a dupe. So there's this brand from Target called Being Frenchy. Shout out to Peyton Charles for putting me onto that brand. I think Ashley Tisdale founded this brand. But yes, it's called Being Frenchy. They sell it at Target. They have body washes, body oils, fragrances, candles, anything self-care you can think of they have. I don't think they have skincare, but they definitely have a lot of body care items. But this smells just like the Solar Floor scent. I will have that link down below as well. But I have the body spray from Frenchy in the Solar Floor scent and it smells just like this like it's very similar like extremely extremely similar so that is definitely a dupe for the Tom Ford Sole Blanc it smells very similar they both smell very beachy and very vacationy and this Tom Ford mini oil was only $34 which I'm absolutely shocked like I know it's not a perfume it's a body oil but it has a very strong scent to it so it smells like a perfume so for $34 this was definitely worth the price and I'm so so glad that I found this this will be perfect for my upcoming vacation and I can't wait to like put it on when I have a bikini and it's just gonna be so perfect it smells vacationy and it looks so good on the skin Alright guys, well that's my whole shopping haul, my little fall wardrobe slash back to school shopping. Like I said, I am just so happy with everything I found. I cannot wait to style all these clothes. You guys will see me in pictures on my Instagram, so make sure you go follow me there to see me wearing these outfits. And also I'll post vlogs and show you guys my OOTDs throughout the day, so you'll probably see me wear these clothes in my daily vlogs. And also make sure you go follow me on TikTok for all my short form content, all my little mini vlogs and everything. But yeah, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video very, very soon.